Jesus will return. Jesus will return. We are walking. We are so fast. We are walking. We are anointing. We are forwards. We are for a Jesus. 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 You know what? I see the same type of anointing that John the Baptist on the Baptist. But I want you to know, all of us are oh, taking the same is. anointing, perhaps at different levels. Uh, at different different level. But I'm a different one level. Of us is called to eat his flesh a, uh, and flesh. drink his blood. I drink his blood. Jesus' flesh uh, and drink Jesus. his blood. This is Jesus' blood and Jesus' heart. For those of you that are familiar with the Bible, the Bible. when I say that Jesus said, yeah, Jesus says, Jesus says, it revives. Don't lie to yourself. Jesus said, lie to yourself. But Jesus was speaking. He was speaking about receiving his fullness into our life. It's our life. We receive Jesus. We receive Jesus. The heart of Jesus. Not the way just that we the want to receive Jesus. Not just the pleasant part of truth, but the hard part of truth as the well. Devil's we take him in his fullness into our life, eating his blood, drinking his blood. You know what the, the result is going to be? I'm a child of God. And part of that fruit is going to be we're going to be witnessing Christians. Yeah, because there's no other type of real Christian that a witnessing Christian. Christian. Since this is the mandate of the church, yeah, he in the said, Bible. you deny me before men, I'll deny you before the Father. But if you confess Father. me before men, I'll confess you before yeah, the Father. Him. We're going to take a John the Baptist yeah, John type of anointing ourselves. We're going to be witnessing Christians yeah, telling Christian. the world that Jesus is well, returning Jesus and will return. people to him Jesus will return. just like John the Baptist did. Yeah, well, I love that, and I'm trusting that some of you right here are also getting the fever, catching yeah, the serious. fever, praise God, and even have the fever. Let's continue on. And he said, I am a voice of so one crying voice. in the wilderness. Yeah, I'm a voice of the Lord. As Isaiah yeah, the prophet had the Let's get down to verse 28. These things and these took things place in Bethany, beyond blessing. the Jordan where John was yeah, baptized. Yeah, so I want you to get this. John the Baptist, yeah, Baptist. Is, is a real historical yeah, person. Yeah, so I know that this might sound basic, but a lot of times people approach yeah, the Christian so faith yeah, as if it's just a bunch of poetic... The Lamb of God, the Lamb of who God, takes away the sin of the world. The sin of the the Lamb of God, the sin of the Lamb of God. Jesus has come. Oh, Jesus He's coming. Jesus, Jesus coming. The crowd that was gathered. Oh, he points at Jesus. And I'm says, telling you, Jesus is coming. The Lamb of God. Lamb of God. In Jesus' name. The Lamb of God. So is Jesus. So is Jesus. That term. The Lamb of God. The Lamb of God. The Lamb of God. The world to Jesus. The world to Jesus. The world introduced to Jesus. The world to Jesus. How did John introduce the world to Jesus? It's a word to Jesus. The word to Jesus. The Lamb of God. Jesus. The Lamb of God. The Lamb of God. The Lamb of God. The Lamb of God. Jesus. The Lamb of God. Jesus. Many people. The many people. Or when they hear Yeshua referred to so as first, the Lamb of God, it uh, kind of God. goes over their head. They don't really get what's going on here. Uh, Some on. people even think of John's terminology <coughs> as referring to, to like a warm, fuzzy lamb. Uh, Some people think that you know Jesus is just this uh, warm, Jesus. you know, real soft, you know, person. A uh, person. But when John the Baptist referred to him as uh, the Lamb person. of God, he wasn't just comparing Jesus yeah, to a warm, soft Jesus. lamb. It's uh, that he was like Jesus. a warm, Person. Yeah, person. Jesus is uh, Jesus. And warm in spirit. But that's spirit what John Jesus. is primarily pointing to. What John, beloved, is uh, pointing to is that Jesus, yeah, Jesus. Jesus. is the fulfillment so of the ancient Passover yeah, prophecy from the book of Exodus, yeah, Exodus. chapter 12. Uh, chapter so God said to Moses, uh, Moses, Moses, I'm going to raise up from your people. Yeah, so a people, prophet, this is your like people. Yourself, from your own people. Well, no, people. Listen to uh, listen, Peter in the book uh, of Acts said Jesus, uh, Jesus is the one uh, Jesus. that God spoke to Moses yeah, so about so in the book of Deuteronomy. You see, Jesus, uh, beloved, Jesus. is the fulfillment yeah, of the Passover. Even Jesus. as Moses tells the story, story. of the first deliverance of Israel through the blood of the Passover, uh, Passover Jesus. we see here that Jesus uh, is the Jesus. fulfillment of Passover oh, by so. becoming the final the Passover lamb. Uh, it's not just that he's a warm, fuzzy animal. Uh, you know, animal. As some people, you know, they have Jesus with the, you know, uh, the, the lamb, you know, petting the soft lamb. That's uh, beautiful, Jesus. and I love it. But it's more than that. Uh, more, John yeah. is speaking about uh, the fact that uh, even as God 
use a land to deliver his people when they were in bondage in Egypt, so he is present. Yeah, oh, praises. Oh, Jesus. Oh, the son of Jesus. To deliver us. He to and the final the land of God. Son, and he goes to hell. That's how far it's out of Jesus. It's like that in the Passover land. And that through him, yeah, so God's him. church and his God people, church. beloved, hallelujah, will be delivered. So once again, 